it's a scene we have all watched in a million movies. The president or prime minister of a western nation steps forward to talk with recently arrived alien visitors. This leader putting themselves at the forefront of this historical moment, painting themselves as the global leader. But if aliens do land, why would they choose a first world nation? Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. So let's skip over the whole if aliens exist debate and for this video decide that they do. Would a species of intelligent creature from another world with the capability of interstellar travel and possibly dimension jumping abilities want to visit the nations we consider world leaders. A civilization that is that advanced should have a society far more developed than our own. They would most likely be a fairer more empathic group. So with a different or more highly developed sense of ethics what nations could or would they choose that would fit with their values. Let's first take a look at them. We have to consider that they would be at least a type 1 civilization on the Kardalislev scale. What is that you may ask? The Kardalislev scale is a measure of development given to a society. It has to meet a series of technological levels and achievements as a civilization and to advance through the scale they must hit new technological markers. This scale was first put together in 1964 by theoretical astrophysicist Nikolai Kardalislev. To be a type 1 civilization Kardalislev says that a type 1 designation is given to a species whom have been able to harness all the energy that is available from a neighboring star, gathering and storing it to meet the energy demands of a growing population. This means that we would need to boost our current energy production over 100,000 times to reach this status. However, being able to harness all Earth's energy would also mean that we could have control over all natural forces. Human beings could control volcanoes, the weather and even earthquakes. At least that is the idea. These kinds of feats are hard to believe but compared to the advances that may still be to come these are just basic and primitive levels of control. It's absolutely nothing compared to the capabilities of societies with higher rankings. In comparison humanity is currently at a level below zero which is described as lowly. A type zero civilization is very underdeveloped and we have a long way to go before being promoted to a type one civilization. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku tends to believe that all things taken into consideration we will reach type 1 in around 100 to 200 years time. This scale goes to a maximum level of 5. A civilization that has reached this level would be almost godlike in their abilities. Level 5 beings would have access to energy equal to all the energy in the known universe but not just this universe but all universes and dimensions. They would most likely be beyond our understanding and comprehension let alone considering our capabilities to open up a dialogue with such entities. So given that an alien race would have access to such technology and energy that is way beyond us we can surmise that they would be at least a type 1. With this being taken into consideration would they really be concerned with meeting the global superpowers? Yes, countries like the USA, China and Russia do have massive energy reserves at their fingertips and advanced technologies that we don't even know exist. These type 1 and up civilizations would consider this all to be very primitive especially when compared to themselves. Maybe they would be looking for something different. After all their societies would have had to have, have developed for a period similar to our own if these advancements follow a linear path. They may be interested in a more compassionate society 
and civilizations whom are good stewards for the planet. If this were the case, the countries they may consider for the first contact would be very different. We should think of places such as Norway, Bhutan or even the African continent. Norway could be appealing as a first contact location due to their social policies. This system heavily promotes equality and social responsibility. The aliens may be aware of this and know that if they shared their advanced technologies with that country, Norway would be likely to share the technology and the knowledge first with their own society and then the world as a whole. Then there are places like Bhutan. This country may be appealing to ET as in this Buddhist country the people and the environment come first. This country is often cited as an example of policy which puts the happiness of the people at the center of its government's agenda. The environment is protected, this because they know that a clean livable place is often at the center of a society's peace, happiness and stability. For the aliens, this would present them with a place that measures and weighs the benefits and disadvantages of the extraterrestrial technologies and act with an environmentally responsible mind. The last place we should consider is a continent rather than a country, Africa. If unlike the Neil Blomkamp movie District 9, our aliens are not a slave race, here by a twist of fate, but advanced in all areas including their morality, they may have sympathy when observing the suffering which spans that land and wish to help. Making first contact with such a location could show the aliens in a favorable light and alleviate the suspicious minds of the rest of mankind. Also if they shared that technology with the underdeveloped nations of the continent, it would change the world's political climate. The powerful nations whom have for centuries taken from Africa may be forced to look at the continent in a more even light. This is of course all speculation. As far as we know, first contact has not happened, well at least not officially. We must also consider that this speculation does not take into account a civilization that would wish to conquer or enslave us. If such an event did occur, there isn't much we could do to stop it. <laughs> do you think aliens would enslave us or choose to advance us on the Kardashev scale? Where do you think they will first land and with whom should they make first contact? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.